Thank you. The next one will be the next. It's a three so four one to do if I ever. When Hervé walked into the kitchen today, he said he saw this. He goes, "Oh, he's a molecular cook." <laughs> Foam canister. It's kind of a revelation, even though we take it for granted now, that we can create something like whipped cream out of a material that doesn't have all those components. Note by note cooking is something that, that grows out of and extends on molecular gastronomy and takes it a step further because it's really based on using compounds to create food. If you have beef and meat, you make beef and, uh, and meat. If you have a carrot and fish, you put carrot and fish and that's all. But if you have the 300 compounds of, ca of carrots and the 300 compounds of fish, you make uh, 90,000 combinations, which means that in front of us with not by not cooking, we have a, a huge new continent, which is like America compared to the old world. One of the questions I often ask myself is just what can be water? You know, uh, if we were to take a, an egg white, which is water and protein, take the water away and then rehydrate that protein with something else, say beet juice, we have a beet meringue. Um, I'm making a uh, soft caramel and there's water and soft caramel. I thought, why not replace that with carrot juice? Um, you know, from you go on and on and on, um, creating new things in a familiar context. Hervé is really uh, uh, pushing a new frontier, new boundaries, and thinking about cooking. We've had a lot of molecular cuisine in New York and Spain and France over the last 10 or 15 years, but it's mostly been sort of uh, decorative, new ways of thinking about presenting old styles of cooking. And this goes right to the heart of it. Breaking uh, ingredients down and breaking preparations down is simply a way to better understand them and a way to become a better cook and to make things taste better. As a pastry chef, um, I, I have to, to be able to predict the future when I cook. So understanding the component parts of everything and how they work and how they function uh, is, is really what I do. So adopting this idea of note by note cuisine is it is, feels natural. It's really an attempt to bring a, a modernist revolution to food of the kind that you've had already in the past hundred years in architecture and music, art, uh, to rethink food in a very fundamental way instead of just rethinking it in superficial ways. In France and in America, about half of food produced is spoiled, which means that if you can avoid the spoilage, you can multiply the food production by two. RVT sees note by note cooking as an important way to think about how we can feed a growing world population, how we can process and move foods around more efficiently to be able to feed more people. So it really has um, a, a, an interest for people concerned about population growth and sustainability and how our understanding of food and processing of food has to change in response to those growing pressures. I think that the, the, this particular event is funny because it tells us a lot of what could be done in the future. Yeah. That's why we need people like you. Yeah. To, to push us in the right direction.